You're now tuned in to Recruit Radio, brought to you by Rebels247.com. And welcome to Recruit Radio. I'm David Johnson along with Brandon Red. Recruit Radio presented by Rebels247.com. We've got a big show planned for you today. We're going to hear from Ole Miss commit defensive tackle Herbert Moore out of East High School. Talk to Herbert about a newfound role he has this year playing both sides of the football, Brandon. Not only is this guy an SEC caliber player defensive tackle, East High School in Memphis also has Herbert playing guard on their offensive line this year. Yeah, Herbert can do a little bit of all. You know, he's got great explosion on the line of scrimmage and and now that he's playing offensive line and defensive line i mean this guy can play some ball and then we're going to hear from kalo moore the mississippi state running back commit the number two rated player in the state of mississippi you're going to hear out of kalo's mouth him describe his experience at Ole Miss and what it means in his recruitment that he had this weekend when he was over here watching the Rebels play the Texas Longhorns. Oh, I'm excited for this interview to see what he has to say about Ole Miss and see about his commitment with the Bulldogs and just what all he has to tell us. I'm excited to hear what he has to say. No doubt about it. Ole Miss right now with 18 commits in their class of 2013, all of these verbal commitments, of course. The class ranked 28th in the nation according to the 247 composite. Uh, headlined right now by Whitehaven High School running back Mark Dodson, a five foot ten, one hundred and eighty five pound bolt of lightning that is just doing some incredible things on Friday nights this year. Yeah, he, he, he's five ten, one seventy five, like you said. I mean, he's big enough where he can break tackles, but he's quick enough where if he's in the open field. He's gone. Mark Dodson also uh, playing two ways at times. Situational uh, defensive player for Whitehaven this year. If they're playing a passing team, a critical situation, he'll get in there and lock down one side of the field at a cornerback position. Also handling the punting duties for Whitehaven this year as well. Through four games, 94 carries, 851 yards for Mark Dodson at Whitehaven High School in Memphis. He's surely not disappointed his senior season. And I just, I love the way he runs the football. And, you know, you're talking about him being a cornerback. Cornerback, uh, yes, he, he can definitely shut those guys down on that side of the ball. A lot of these commits uh, were in attendance Saturday yeah. to watch Ole Miss play Texas. It has been asked uh, uh, by, by by fans, uh, you know, what kind of effect did such a lopsided loss have on the recruiting class? And to a person, every recruit that we have talked to with Everyone. Rebels247.com has said that did not matter. They understand where the program is. They had an incredible time. It was live. I've heard that say, well, said heard a couple say. times. And uh, just a great weekend from the rec- in the recruiting front for the Ole Miss Rebels. Oh, no doubt about it. They had a great time. And for some of these guys, is hey, we can come in here and we can play early. And that's been a big appeal for a lot of these guys guys. All right, you're listening to Recruit Radio, presented by Rebels247.com. I'm David Johnson, along with Brandon Redd. And when we come back, joining us from East High School in Memphis, it is defensive tackle Herbert Moore, one of the 18 commitments in the Ole Miss class of 2013. And welcome back to Recruit Radio, presented by Rebels247.com. I'm David Johnson, along with Brandon Red, And joining us now via telephone, Ole Miss defensive tackle commit Herbert Moore out of East High School up in Memphis. Herbert, welcome to the program. Herbert, can you hear me? Okay, welcome to the program. We appreciate you taking time out to join us this week on Recruit Radio. Herb, i got to ask you, man, uh, headed into this season, I know you wanted to focus all your energy and intensity on the defensive tackle position, but but your head coach, Marcus Wimberly at East High School, has asked you to play on both sides of the football. You're playing guard on that East offensive line. How's that going for you? It's going pretty great. I'm getting better each each and every game. Are you getting good enough, Herb, that you may end up being a guard in college, huh? Yeah, well, (laughs) Dick came back and saw me play guard. I was like, uh... 
My coach is saying he's not really a guard, though. I got you. They're going to keep you. The Rebels will keep you at a defensive tackle spot. I don't think there's any <laughs> doubt in the in the world about that. Herbert, uh, you were were you able to come down and watch the Ole Miss Rebels play Texas in a packed out Vaught Hemingway Stadium last week? Yes, sir. Describe the atmosphere from a recruit standpoint. How did you how did you feel about what took place Saturday night at Vaught Hemingway Stadium? Like that day when I woke up, I just know I was gonna have a great day down there. So when I got down there, they uh the people that walked me right, they walked me through the grove and I had I was showing a lot of love when I walked through the grove. So just when I got in the stadium how the student states was acting in my eye, it was unbelievable. And Herbert, uh, you know, there were a lot of fans asked the question, okay, was it a good idea to bring in all these recruits and, and watch Texas score 66 on Ole Miss? Did that affect you at all in your decision uh, to play your college football at Ole Miss? And what were the other recruits you were sitting with saying about it? Like, the, it was it was a fight and uh, to halftime. Like, regardless of what the score was with me, I, I realized, like, where this program is going. It's not quite there yet, but this is the whole point they're trying to bring us big recruits in just to help out the program. Uh, Herbert, just talk about, you know, the, the atmosphere. Like you said, you're in the student section. You had a lot of fun. Just talk about the atmosphere uh, Saturday night. And and was there anything maybe you learned about Ole Miss you didn't know? Uh, <laughs> I finally learned the chant, uh, the high side chant, sadly. Well, in, <laughs> anyways, I was in uh in the fan section, and the students, the students says we were very into the game. I really liked it about the whole fan thing, and it was just great to be down there. Herbert, how do you feel about how the class Hugh Freeze is putting together is shaping up? I know you guys, you recruits, talk to each other a whole lot. What is the general feel from the the commitment class Ole Miss has put together about the direction this football program is heading? Uh, it's like playing college football programs on the rise, but I think we're on the rise more quicker than anybody. Cause like, with our classes, like when we get in there, we, we we're putting in work now. Like how Jalen, how Jalen Washington is putting in work, we look at him like we're ready to come in and play now. We're ready to help out the program now. Herbert, talk to us a little bit about how your season is going on both sides of the ball. We mentioned that you're having to play on the offensive line as well as at your defensive tackle position. But how is your season personally going for you? How do you feel about it? I mean, it's going great. We're three and two right now, getting ready to play MUS. I'm going to dominate at the D tackle with his because it's a common thing to me. So it's just the offensive guard they have to get up and play. They look at me, they run behind me most of the time, so I just really got to learn the offense and the defense. So that's how my season is going now. Herbert, you know, you, you said you feel most comfortable at defensive tackle. What What are some of the things you feel, you know, you do best at that position? Like my explosion off the ball has got really better this year. That's why I was going to work on it all summer. And now my strength is again, it has increased a lot, so I'm just going to work on my speed now. This is what plenty of coaches and guys say. Man, you're too, too strong off the ball, man. Herbert, I want to ask you something. Now, I went out to Austin, Texas this summer, and you were out there playing on part of uh, uh, the Team USA uh, uh, World Games in Austin. And while you were out there, you you struck up a fast friendship with Arkansas commit Kari Harding. Uh, do you guys still talk? And, and, and where is Kari at with his commitment to Arkansas? Have you any idea on that? No, last time, I, like, we talked at night then, but, like, last time I said, talked to him, he was like, it was in and out, but he, I, and he said he's about 90% dark, so. Be interesting to see how all of that shakes down over at Arkansas. As uh, there's no doubt going to be a coaching change at the end of this season over there. Okay, Herbert, got to check in with you on a couple of other guys. I know Ole Miss recruiting uh, one of your teammates, center Bobby Billingsley, up there. How's Bobby doing this year? Bobby's doing great this year. He's uh, improved on a lot of things, as far as like run blocking, pass blocking, and everything. All right, everyone, this is Herbert Moore out of East High School in Memphis, Tennessee, the nation's number 52-ranked defensive tackle prospect and Ole Miss commit. Herbert, thank you for joining us on Recruit Radio, and good luck in your game against Memphis University School Friday night. You're welcome, and thanks, Dave. Thank you, Herbert. I tell you what, that Herbert Moore, yeah. he's an outstanding, outstanding yeah. young man, going to fit into uh, Hugh Freeze's football program every which way possible mm-hmm. from a talent standpoint on that defensive line to a very uh, high-character, mm-hmm. uh, off-the-field caliber young man. Yeah, you can tell he's he's hungry to be at Ole Miss, and, and he's excited to come here. And, 
And, and that's what we need, David, players that are ready to strap on the red and blue and, and go to war for the Rebels. No doubt about it. And, and, and I'm sure Herbert got excited when he saw all the troubles on the Ole Miss defensive line yeah. Saturday night. He's got an opportunity to come in here and, and, and if everything goes his way, make an early impact. I mean, the Rebels need help on at the tackle yeah. positions on the defensive side of the football. Uh, there's no question about it. If you look at our defensive line last week against Texas, you know, we there was times where we were getting pushed back. And, uh, you know, when Herbert was watching that, he was thinking – if I was if I had that helmet on and I was wearing Ole Miss, I could come in there and, and move maybe move that line the other way. Herbert Moore picked Ole Miss over offers from Clemson, Illinois, Marshall, North Carolina, Ohio, and Vanderbilt. Herbert Moore, defensive tackle and a member of the Ole Miss class of 2013. When we come back, we're going to take a look at some of the uncommitted prospects in the state of Mississippi and which way they may be leaning and maybe even – a guy or two that's already committed that might be close to flipping. It, it could happen. We'll be right back on Recruit Radio, presented by Rebels247.com. And welcome back to Recruit Radio, presented by Rebels247.com. I'm David Johnson, along with Brandon Red, And joining us now during this segment, Mississippi State running back commit Kalo Moore out of Rosedale, Mississippi, West Bolivar High School. Kalo, welcome to the program. All right, thanks. Kalo, uh, you were... You were in attendance at Saturday's Ole Miss Texas game, came over on an unofficial visit, uh, spent a little time out in the Grove and checking the campus out before making your way to the stadium. Your impressions of, of Oxford and the Ole Miss football program Saturday? Oh man, it, it, it was crazy. You know, I enjoyed myself a whole lot, especially the Grove. That was, my, that was actually my first time, you know, going through there and just um, visiting it with, and it was good just um, be back up there and visit with the college coach. Kalo, you are a, a, a Mississippi State commit. I, I talked to you earlier this week. You said you left Ole Miss the same way you came, still committed to Mississippi State. But uh, did you see anything out of Ole Miss, particularly on the offensive side of the football, uh, that may have piqued your interest some Saturday watching the Rebels play the Longhorns? Yeah, i seen, I seen a whole lot. I like how um, they use the running backs a lot. They line them up in slot when they boxes, you know, look like it's stacked up a little bit and I like how they get their running backs in um overfield, you know, with that type of um offense, I know I can score fast and easy. Kalo, what kind of reception did you get uh, not only from uh, the Ole Miss fan base but the Ole Miss coaching staff when they realized you had in fact made the trip to Oxford on Saturday? Oh, uh, they treated me like a king, you know, once I once I went in on time and I to get the ticket. The coach that came and got me and I hung out in the locker room until it was time for them to um, play. Kalo, your high school season, you guys are five games in. You're three and two. Not many people expected West Bolivar to have two losses this early on their schedule this year. You found yourself in somewhat of a different role this year, uh, also playing cornerback on defense. Yeah. You know, just, just the thing, you, you, my your, um, high school coach going to try to get as much as he can get at you, you know, up. I started playing on um, free safety ball when I was eighth grade. Um, in my senior year, I came back. Um, I'm playing a little bit of corner, so yeah, my role changed up a lot. I play a lot of slot receiver um, and offense, but I'm just doing what I can do to help us get a win. Okay, and last week uh, you guys play Aberdeen. Aberdeen defeats you, and then the week before, Cleveland East Side uh, is, is able to defeat West Bolivar. Kalo, I was sitting here scratching my head, and I can't remember the last time West Bolivar's lost two ball games in a row. Can you? No, I don't never think. I, I think that I think we made history. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Somewhere along the line, this happened once or twice before, but not in a very, very long time, as West Bolivar is one of the uh, two-way superpowers in the state of Mississippi. So, Kalo, what's up next for you in terms of your recruitment? Do you have another uh, visit that you're taking to any place anytime soon? Yeah, I'm going to attend one of them. 
Mississippi State football game. I don't know which one I'm gonna go to, but the next home game I should um be down there. I don't think I'm gonna make it up there this weekend because my mom got plans. With me, you know, my birthday tomorrow, so. Well, ha- so happy, birthday. happy birthday. Happy Kalo. birthday. Happy birthday. Kelo, Kelo, how old will you be? 18 tomorrow? No, I'll be 19 tomorrow. N- 19 tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. uh, this is going to be a tape show tomorrow, September 21st. So, Kalo Moore turning 19 years old. Happy birthday to you, Kalo. Uh, I appreciate it. Well, let me ask you this from an Ole Miss perspective. Any plans after what you watched here last Saturday to uh, to continue communicating with the Ole Miss coaching staff and perhaps to come back to Oxford again before the season's over? Oh, yeah. I'll be back a couple more times. A couple more times? <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, good deal. And uh, I guess just to top it all off, Kalo, uh, I mean, your, your feelings on the Ole Miss football program, now obviously downtrodden. You were a one-time Ole Miss commit, and on the day that Houston Nutt was fired as the head coach at Ole Miss, you decommitted. But I think it's well documented you have a long-standing relationship with uh, Ole Miss running backs coach Derek Nix. And, uh, I mean, Kalo, I guess the bottom line is, I mean, is your recruitment over? Can you can you tell us definitively yes or no your recruitment is over? Um, no. There you heard it, Kalo Moore, right there, Kalo. I appreciate you being a stand-up guy. Thank you so much for coming on Recruit Radio with Brandon and myself uh, today. And uh, who do you guys play on Friday night? We got Leland Club. The Leland. Oh, that's a long time rivalry, Rosedale Leland. That goes back to Should the big uh, going. Yeah, that goes back to the Leland Young days, and then running that levy. Y'all still run the levy over there, Kayla? Yeah, we ran it on um, Tuesday. Every every we run it every Tuesday. We spell um out the, well, the team we playing. We we'll spell the um mascot name, but we ain't spell Cub this week because you know about the little loss from last week. So we ended up running a couple of extras on the levy. Well, good luck to you, Kalo Moore. And uh, hey, excited about seeing you play. We're going to check in and, and watch you live one Friday night this year. I want to see you play some cornerback, too. Uh, yeah, you know I'm locked down right there. I guarantee you, no <laughs> doubt about yeah, it. Get down, throw to my side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kalo Moore, everybody, the four-star running back prospect, number two rated recruit in the whole state of Mississippi out of Rosedale, West Bolivar High School. Kalo, thank you again for joining us. All right, no problem. Kalo Moore. And I tell you, I love talking to Kalo. Yeah. I've known him for a long time. My wife actually taught Kalo in the third grade. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, he seems like a really good guy, and a, he's a great player, you know. She actually said he had he had some great dance moves back then. Uh, now, I do believe that. I wonder if he's taking those dance moves onto the football field. I do not know. The question remains, and you heard him say it yeah. himself, uh, as to whose football field he'll be carrying those moves yeah. onto. He's still a Mississippi State commit, and he wants to underscore that every time I've talked to him. But there's definitely some interest that is there between uh for you know for for Ole Miss from Kalo Moore. Yeah, I mean you heard it from his own mouth that this recruitment isn't over for him. All right, you're listening to Recruit Radio presented by Rebels 247. We'll be back with more right after this. Welcome back to Recruit Radio, presented by Rebels247.com. I'm David Johnson, along with Brandon Redd, and we just heard from West Bolivar High School running back Kalo Moore, a Mississippi State commit, that uh, Brandon obviously yeah. had quite the impression made on him uh, by visiting Ole Miss on the Texas weekend. Yeah, you know, as we had said earlier in the show, that a lot of these guys came out of that Ole Miss-Texas game excited and, and really uh, Ole Miss appealed to them. And you, we, t- we just talked to Kayla Moore, and first time he's seen the Grove, and now he said, yeah, I can work in this offense. He, he, seemed, he seemed really pleased with the Rebels. Well, and the one question that was asked him, Kalo, is your recruitment over? We got a very simple one-word answer. No. No. 
and that and that's all it takes, David, to say no because that that's all the questions, all the the things surrounding his recruitment. And he he sat here on this show today and said, "No, I'm not through." Well, and he also said that he he does plan to to visit Mississippi right. State again, uh, one game before the season's over with. But he also said he plans on being back in Oxford a couple of times before season's in. Yeah, and to me that speaks uh, volumes. I mean, he. Um, if he would have came to Ole Miss, he didn't have a good time, then uh, most likely he wouldn't be wanting to come back. But he said and multiple times uh, he seemed to really enjoy his visit uh, Kalo, against Texas. Kalo is ranked as a number two recruit in the class yeah. of 2013, the state of Mississippi behind only Tony Connor over at South Panola. He's also rated as the number seven running back prospect in the nation for the class of 2013 and the number 74 overall recruit regardless of position in the country for the class of 2013. He's a player, David. You know, you look at that 4-4-40 time. Uh, when he hits a hole, he's gone, and uh, he's got good moves. His 40, 40 time is actually a four two seven. Yeah, that is right. The, and then um, he ran that at the uh, Ole, Ole, Ole Miss he Combine. Ran, yeah. He ran a four two seven at the Ole Miss camp this summer. And so he's getting faster, too. Uh, you give him a couple years in the weight program, there's no telling how fast he could end up being. No doubt about it. Uh, going back to uh, Herbert Moore, uh, Herbert uh, certainly excited, and, and again to kind of kind of uh, uh, stay on this theme of did the Texas loss affect uh, Ole Miss recruiting in a negative way? I've yet to hear a recruit say that it did. As a matter of fact, you heard Herbert Moore. Uh, Herbert just as excited as he can possibly be on coming into the Ole yeah. Miss football program. Yeah, these guys they saw the atmosphere, they saw what Ole Miss could be. And uh, I think they believe that if they came to Ole Miss and started winning some ball games, just how electric Vault Hemingway Stadium could be. Without a doubt. A uh, lot of recruiting left to uh, do throughout uh, this college football season yeah. for all of these college coaches. And then uh, the month of December and January, oh so critical. But right now, recruits are paying attention to what's happening to these prospective teams every Saturday on, on the football field. And I think Ole Miss, uh, there's a general consensus out there that there's improvement being made, and it's happening quickly. Yeah, no question. When you when you look at these guys, they realize that Ole Miss is on the rise and that these coaches are trying to rebuild. For Herbert Moore, Kalo Moore, we had two, two Moores on the program <laughs> today. For Brandon Red, I'm David Johnson. Thank you for joining us for this week's Recruit Radio, presented by Rebels247.com.